Hey again, everyone. It's Ty Warner with Tyke Engineering and Kissoff Tech Support. I just wanted to go over how to make a real simple load spectrum and read it into the database. Um, I'm in the strength tab. I just open up this example number six. It's a helical gear set. Um, here I have my load spectrum. I can do nominal load or I can do with load spectrum and I can choose uh, any of these things over here uh, as, as an example uh, with a basic. This has got 10 bins. Okay, um, I might be interested in doing my own, say I've got 20 bins or something along that sort. I've got it in a spreadsheet. I have a reference speed. I have a, a reference torque. Um, I've got all my bins. I got 16 bins here. My time period at each load, which is real values here in torque and, and speed values. Um, it's a real simple thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to calculate the sum of all my, my time, like so, 494 seconds. And then I can then I can calculate the frequency at each bin. I simply say, I take my time uh, for my bin, I divide it by my total time. I'm gonna put a, a number sign in there and that holds the, that'll hold the sum value when I drag this down. And now I've got all my, my frequencies and if I highlight these and look down here in the bottom, I can see that I have a summation of one, which is what I want. So it's got to equal to one. The torque factor is very similar. I, I take the value of my torque. I divide it by my reference torque. In this case, it's 25. Uh, I like to put a, a number sign here. Okay. And then I drop this down. And these are all my torque factors now. And I'm going to do the same thing for my speed. I'm going to say equal to the 1600 divided buy this 1800 and I'm going to go ahead and put a, a number sign on either side of this cell. So it holds this cell. So this number line holds C1. And then when I, when I drag this down, um, you can see it's all C1 right there. Okay, now I have a frequency, a torque factor, and a speed factor. All right. Uh, it's really easy to set this up. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy those cells right there. And we're going to we're going to put it into a dat file and then we're going to read that in and we'll have a torque uh, our load spectrum so you can call up notepad like so uh on new tab here and all i'm going to do is that and that oops all i'm going to do is i'm going to grab these three columns Frequency, torque, and speed factor. I'm going to copy these. And now when I go into my notebook, my notepad, I just paste them. See, I got three columns there now, right? I'm going to file this. I'm going to save this. File, save as a dat file. And I'm going to call it, uh, uh, we're just going to call it sample low spectrum. There we go. Taika, and we're going to do all files, and we're going to do a dot dat, okay? And I'm going to put this in my, you know, my local. Let's see where I want to put this on my documents under Kissis, Kissoft, and I'm just going to save it in this Kissoft folder. All right, so I save that. Sample load spectrum type, boom. And this is what it looks like. It's a DAT file. Now, in KISSOFT, or KISSOFT, what I can do is uh, I can say I'm going to do my own, own input. All right? And now I, I'm going to use a factor, which is good, and I'm going to do a link with file. And then I'm, I'm going to search for that folder or that dat file in my kiss off folder right there i'm going to open it in there it brought it all in 16 columns torque speed all right i'm going to make this 1800 my reference speed and i'm going to make that torque 25 newton meters okay 
because that's what I wanted it in my other one. It could be any number up here that you want. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but now when I run this, it's going to calculate this with my load spectrum. And there's my results. And if I look at the, if I look at the uh, generate report, I'm going to have a load spectrum right here. Here's my load spectrum. So I can see that right in the report. I can see it brought in all my 16. And that is how I would typically recommend if you're going to create a load spectrum for a project or for not a project, whatever it is. Um, it's really simple. Create your, your time data recorded here. Give yourself a reference speed and a torque. Calculate the, the factors. Okay. Calculate the factors out, you know, based on your total time second, and 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 then you, and then you copy that into a DAT file. That's it. And then you can read that in. Well, really super simple. So if you're struggling with, you know, sometimes you'll have three, four hundred lines of uh, of uh, load spectrum. This is a simple way to do it. Just copy that over and paste it in a notepad. Save as a DAT file. Done deal. And then you get your results here. And it's in the uh, uh, in the main main report. So you, you run your you generate report. You can double check. It's right there. There it is. Okay. Gives you the number of cycles. You can define number of hours. But however, you have to define your your total cycle. But this is how I would do that. So real simple. Um, if you have questions, uh, feel free to call. 715-477-0828 uh, or email ty.warner at kissoft.ag and we can uh, help you with your uh, kissoft questions. Thanks for listening. Uh, good luck with your projects. Hopefully this helps. Bye.